How many times have you had the opportunity to try something new, but you were too afraid of failure? And then a great opportunity is lost. But who knows what could have happened if you had just tried? Yes, you might have made a mistake or two. You might have even completely failed. But you most certainly would have come out of it learning something new, right? Mistakes are part of our everyday life. Whether they are big ones or small ones, they have one thing in common. They teach. Mistakes are important for us to grow and to develop. How will a child learn to perfect their balance if they don't have the opportunity to topple over a few times? And yet, we spend most of our time teaching children how not to make mistakes. Erasing their errors, constantly correcting them. Haven't you seen that happen? Now just close your eyes and imagine for a moment that from the age of two you were taught that not only is it okay to make a mistake, but making mistakes lead to exciting and new discoveries. Wouldn't this have changed the way you see and experience the world? Isn't it sad that society sees failure as a terrible thing and we're always protecting our children from making mistakes? We're surrounded by mistake-proof products the sippy cup that doesn't spill, the snack bowl that will not allow a morsel to fall out, toys made of unbreakable plastic. But this is not so in a Montessori classroom. Our environment is filled with real, natural materials and real experiences. As Montessori guides, we strive to create a space where it's safe to make mistakes. We know that the materials carry within them the control of error and the child's error will be made obvious to them without any interference from the adult. Think about it this way. When we see a child building a tower, and as an adult, we know that these blocks have been placed in such a way that in a few more minutes, the tower is going to collapse to the ground and the blocks will be scattered everywhere. The traditional approach would be to interrupt the child, point out their mistake and correct them by showing them exactly what to do. But on the flip side, Montessori approach would be to observe without interference as the tower topples and the child tries over and over to get it just right. This way, they learn what they did wrong and how to fix it. And if they don't figure it out on their own, they know that we are there to support and they can ask us for help. That's when we step in and we guide the child have you tried it this way? Maybe you would put this block below. Why don't you try doing it this way? Traditional classrooms are structured to prevent mistakes, whereas Montessori classrooms are designed in the exact opposite fashion. Dr. Montessori believed that mistakes are important because they allow the freedom to experiment, explore, and discover. So then the question becomes, do I just not say anything when I see the child doing something wrong? Keep this in mind. When you observe a child, you will be able to tell when they're doing something intentionally to disrupt or when it is part of their learning process. For example, a child is purposely pouring water all over the tables and the floors, making puddles and stomping in it. This would be intentional. You will notice a lack of concentration during this act. However, a child doing a pouring activity and they overfill the jug till the water spills out onto the tray and maybe even onto the table too. You may have noticed a level of focus in this activity and perhaps they're testing the limits to see what happens when I pour the water all the way to the top. In the first instance, the child is distracted. There's no concentration in the activity. Whereas in the second instance, this child is truly focused in what they're doing. And now they're making new discoveries through their mistakes. And they're learning something by doing this. The parent or the teacher can then guide them later on how to tidy up the mess. Remember, we guide, not correct. Have a look at this picture. I just taught my niece how to use a stapler. Now this is a child who's always pushing the limits. She might have done it the way I showed her once or twice. After that, she went overboard stapling in the same spot over and over again. But just look at that expression on her face. It's pure joy, 
totally loving what she's doing, totally focused on it. Now, why would I want to interrupt that just to correct her? At the end of her activity, she realized that some of the pins had fallen out and it had having one, uh, too many pins in one spot made it very hard for her to open her card. She noticed this all by herself and when she repeated this activity later, she did it differently. If I had stopped her then, she would have missed this learning opportunity. She would have missed out on learning something new that was taking her towards perfection. When children are empowered to make mistakes and correct themselves, they will hopefully grow up to be adults who are not looking for guidance and approval from anyone else but themselves. They take pride in themselves when they get it right. I once observed my four-year-old nephew carrying a tray with two bowls and a jug made of glass. Just the previous week, he had accidentally dropped a glass bowl and it had shattered. Now I watched him from across the room as he very slowly and carefully walked to the table. I was a little nervous, to be honest. When he finally made it to the table, he set the tray down very gently and let out a sigh of relief. And his face suddenly glowed with this expression of self-satisfaction and immense pride in himself. He didn't need anyone to tell him he had done a good job. He knew he had. Mistakes are a powerful way to learn. Through them, children grow to become confident, strong people who don't back down from a challenge. This is because they trust themselves to have the answers. This is yet another amazing Montessori gift that we are giving our children, the ability to be fearless and believe in themselves. We always talk about freedom in a Montessori classroom, don't we? So let me leave you with a few beautiful words by Mahatma Gandhi. Freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.